<laughs> can you just take us through the play that people have never seen before? A fumble recovery that goes 100 yards the other way. Uh, they did a quarterback sneak. Uh, Ball popped out, popped into my hands. Uh, almost got tackled. Uh, and I got blocked. Got uh, two blocks from uh, Marcus Peters and Buda Baker. And uh, scored. As a defender, like when you get a fumble recovery, usually you just want to fall on it. Um, were you thinking? No, we don't ever fall on balls. Uh, we always got a mentality, scoop and score. Uh, that's our mentality on defense. If you can't get it, then you fall on it. How'd the ball come loose? Did you see that or did you just see it? It ball? just popped out. Yeah, it just popped into my hands. Magnet. <laughs> <laughs> were you looking at the other, were you looking at the TV? I mean, when, it, when you got it, were you thinking, I'm going all the way? Oh, yeah, that's the first thing that popped in my head. Uh, if I'm getting the ball, uh, first thing is scoring. How much the mentality on defense is forcing turnovers? Uh, we're trying to lead the whole college football in that, so that's our mentality, just to uh, create turnovers and give the ball to our offense. Have you ever gone the distance before like that? No, I was definitely tired. <laughs> <laughs> you were really tired. Yeah, I was you, definitely tired. You didn't go in the next series? Nope. Stayed out the whole series. Their teammates were tri tired chasing you down the field. <laughs> Most of them stopped. <laughs> Only two of them kept going. So I'll applaud those two. How many, how many friends and family members did you have here? Uh, about 20 something. Uh, just straight family members. I'm uh, friends over here. Yeah. Fun to play in front of those? those yeah, it was, uh, it was great to come back home. Uh, a little homecoming game. Uh, so they could all see me. Instead of just watching on TV, you could see it live in person and just see how we execute on defense and offense. Do you envision holding these guys to seven points? Yeah, we had a chip on our shoulder. Um, we heard some stuff in the media about them talking, talking about uh, this is a good game to get their young guys in. So uh, we took that to heart. We came out here and put a chip on our shoulder. And, uh, every game they scored 50 plus points, and uh, we knew we had to help them. So that's what we did. When you see them, you know, guys say something like that, do you make sure everyone on your team sees it? I mean, yeah, every, everybody sees it. Uh, it yeah, motivates everybody, especially people on defense. Uh, we just got to keep going and striving to get what we want. And stopping him on the goal line towards the end of the game on fourth down. Oh, yeah, that, that was big by Will Deasley. Uh, he got in there first. And, uh, he made the tackle. How important was that to you guys? To... Oh, that was big. Uh, we didn't want them to score another touchdown on this to make it 14 and win, keep them uh, seven points. When you were little and dreaming up, you know, a heroic place, did you ever dream one that you were going to go 100 yards on a fumble recovery? I never dreamed that before. Never. Never even thought I could do it. But it happened. Coach Peterson said that that was like the ultimate swing of momentum. Could you guys, did you guys kind of feed off that? I mean, they were about to score, and suddenly you scored 14 points swing. Yeah, that was a big uh, game changer right there. Uh, gave momentum to our offense and defense. Uh, we just know after that touchdown, we got to get going. They were driving the ball down pretty great. Uh, that stop was huge for us. Every team in the Pac-12 North has got one conference loss. At least, where do you guys feel like you are at in terms of competing in the division? Oh, we're going to compete with everybody, the North and South. Uh, we're not going to place ourselves in front of anybody. So each and every week, we're going to compete. And we're going to go to battle. You talked a little bit about golf. I was talking to Danny a little bit earlier. Just you know, the quarterback is not scrambling out of the pocket as much. Uh, you know, would you prefer playing that guy because you got Marcus Mariota next week? Oh yeah, we're gonna try to do the same thing. Keep him in the pocket. Let him beat us throwing. Uh, everybody knows Marcus Mariota can run, so we're gonna try to keep him in the pocket. Speaking of game shifts, you it seemed like you were gonna come to Cal, and then of course you made the switch and decided to go to UW. Um, was it? <laughs> I mean, is it, is it an out-of-body experience to do what you've done today to, you know, change the complexion of the game, considering all that background? I really don't look at it like that. Uh, I chose UW because I didn't want to follow my brother's footsteps, and uh, UW was a great place for me and a fit for me, right? Uh, just coming back home and just uh, know I had to play in front of everybody, uh, especially my family, and to just know you got to show up and show out. Your brother here today? Yeah, he's here. What was he wearing? I definitely cannot tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Good.